Before a student athlete is returning to physical activity after concussion, they need to be cleared by their physician. They also need to have um, a normal clinical exam and neuropsych neurocognitive exam. Um, they also need to be asymptomatic and have no concussion-related symptoms. Um, once that's all met, all three are met, um, they will start a return to play progression of activity. The first step will be light aerobic exercise, which can be uh, stationary biking for 20 to 30 minutes, and the goal of this is to increase their heart rate. The next step will be um, sport-specific exercise, so this can include running, sprinting, ladder drills, um, anything that includes movement, just increasing um, sport-specific movement. Uh, the following step will be non-contact training drills, and so this can include uh, running routes on the football field, um, any basketball footwork drills, um, making sure that nothing is contact related. Um, this is to increase exercise coordination and um, increase thinking on the field, back on the court, anything like that. Um, the following step will be um, a full contact practice and the goal of this is to increase their confidence getting back on the field or court. Um, so this can include all and every drill in the practice um, that the coach wants uh, the players to do. Uh, the final step is to return to a game and have full unrestricted play. Um, each step is separated by 24 hours. If they do have symptoms within the 24 hours, they will uh, rest until they are asymptomatic and then return back to the step that they were at.